Hello YouTube, this is Patrick, and um, this is my review of Dexter, Season 7, Episode 8. And yes, I lost my voice two days ago, so it sounds much better than it did. But uh, I know I sound like an old woman from Brooklyn who should be ordering a bagel with cream cheese. Sorry. <clears throat> I will try to sound... Oh, a little better there. I will try to sound as normal as possible. But anyway, last night's episode was... Um, <clears throat> It was really good. It was a. It was pretty much the last setup episode before the final bunch of the season. And uh, it, the thing I liked about the episode it was pretty much about one thing. It had one theme. It was just about relationships, and uh, what you do for someone you care about. And uh, all of our characters uh, were basically doing something stupid for someone that they care about. And you know, Quinn for Nadia. Deb for Dexter, Dexter for Hannah, Isaac for Victor, so LaGuerta for Dokes. So all of that stuff, <clears throat> you know, tied in really well. And uh, all those characters basically want to get away to their Argentina, but they know it's probably out of reach because they have so many damn problems. Um, so yeah, it was very, it, I thought it was actually a very, despite being a slower episode, it... I thought it just felt really well-rounded, really well-written. There were a couple of dumb scenes I'll get to, but just really, really good, and it really got the season ready for the final four episodes. So, yeah, okay, I guess I'll just go through everybody. <clears throat> Batista didn't really do much. He got his restaurant, which was nice. Uh, I don't know if they're going to go anywhere with that or if he's just going to kind of have to come back into it. Um, maybe LaGuerta will, like, convert him back to help her. Maybe. She seems to be going to Matthews next week. Um, because she had a little moment with him where she said she was happy for him. I don't know if that was just supposed to be a one-off thing or it might lead to something. We'll see. Uh, LaGuerta, you know, was sitting outside Dexter's boat. She's on to Dexter. And maybe that's why she's talking to Matthews next week because she's going to ask him about Harry and about Dexter. Who knows? Who knows? But... She's officially on to Dexter with four episodes to go. So this is, um, this is going to get pretty interesting, or that side is. <clears throat> Quinn. You know, Quinn is once again stuck. He has to keep taking the pay. And, um, yeah, I don't know really where that's going to end up. Especially now that those guys are also after Isaac. So if they're after Isaac which means Isaac is after them. Quinn could get caught in the middle. Whatever, it's, it's not going to end well for him and, and, and Nadia. That's, that's all it really seems to be right now. Um, Quinn seems to not care about going down. Like, he's gotten out of this stuff before. I don't think he's going to get out of it this year. So, yeah. Again, looking forward to see where that goes. Um, Aster and Cody returned, which... I didn't mind because it's nice to know that the writers didn't forget about him. You know, they brought him back for an episode <clears throat> and it sort of helped with, for me, it helped like actually strengthen Hannah's character because when they were there, I was kind of thinking like, yeah, I don't miss Rita and I prefer Hannah to basically all of Dexter's love interests. So we got to season seven and my favorite love interest for Dexter is Hannah, which is actually pretty impressive. And, um, I can't quite figure Hannah out because, you know, Dexter obviously cares for her, but we don't get to see inside her head, so we don't know if she's still planning something or not. So it's actually, it's, it's you know, kind of kind of fascinating. And, yeah, I think it's, just, it's pretty good that, you know, seven, season in, seven seasons in, they finally got it right, and it kind of ties in with how Dexter is able to be so much more open with everyone this season, open with Hannah, open with, De with uh, Deborah, and, uh open with Isaac even so I like all that stuff everyone is just talking to each other um, and just yeah their whole you know their whole conversations are a little bit awkward but they're also kind of sweet but it's also like you know is he gonna kill her by the end of the season it's just yeah it's just all that stuff is all in there a uh, very funny comment about uh, breakfast being important considering the opening credits he has breakfast every single episode so that was funny and, um, let's see, moving on. I guess I'll just get on to, let's go to Deb or Isaac. I'll just move on to Deb. 
Deb, uh, I felt really bad for her, just basically confessing that Dexter's all she has, and he won't kill her. Um, Deborah was funny with uh, having to read Dr. Seuss to the kids. That was amusing. And um, she confessed. We saw in the, in the preview the, the therapist scene from last season. She confessed to Dexter that she's in love with him. I thought they actually handled it really well because last season it felt like it came out of left field. The whole, you know, I'm in love with my brother thing. But they gave it some time and some space, and they kind of let everyone, the entire audience, kind of sit on it, wondering if they were even going to bring it back. So then when they did, it kind of felt like, oh, shit, there it is. It's out in the open. And I liked how they handle it where Dexter doesn't really, you know, know what to do with it. And Harry kind of yelled at him for just leaving, which was funny. Um, great scene. Great uh, acting by Jennifer Carpenter, who's been great all season. Going for that Emmy. And... Um, yeah, so all that stuff's that stuff is really good. Dexter going to kill uh, or going to the Isaac's place and having to kill the guy, the uh, what do you say? The, he was the Avon lady or the Avon guy or something. Or very funny too. And that whole scene was uh, was pretty good with Isaac basically taunting him at the crime scene. Uh, all that stuff is very funny. Isaac's very smug when he wants to be, and that's funny. Um, <clears throat> he. The, uh, the killing him at the, or trying to kill him at the donut shop was pretty stupid, and it was pretty kind of just contrived, and, you know, he's been trying to get him this whole season. I know he said, like, oh, I had an opportunity to get you, and I got guys on my tail, so I had to do it quick. He doesn't seem like he wants to do it quick. He wants revenge, which I think he wants it to be a little more up close and personal. Especially if you look at it, you know, their conversation at the end of the episode. So, yeah. Also, how the hell are two dozen donuts $3? Did anyone see that? Three dollars. I gotta get a box of 25 munchkins here. It costs like four dollars. Ridiculous. Um, moving on anyway to the uh, best scene of the episode was between Dexter and Isaac at the the gay bar. And um, yes, Isaac Isaac's gay. Called it early. Thank you. I shouldn't have done that. I don't know why I did that. Um, yeah, it was just a great scene and I think it furthered Isaac as... If not my favorite villain of the series, he's right, almost tied with Trinity right about now because he's so much more three-dimensional than everybody else. He's even more three-dimensional than Trinity. Um, but uh, but John Lithgow's um, Thanksgiving scene still uh, is still the best. So yeah, but I love the whole scene and the, just um, how Isaac and Dexter can just relate to each other, pretty much how he can relate to Hannah, and. Um, yeah, you know, I'm thinking, like, Hannah and Isaac, I really, I don't want to see these characters go, you know, at all. And if somehow they can keep them on, I know they won't, that's for, it's not going to happen. But we only have one more season. I kind of want to, you know, how the hell are they going to top what they're doing? Unless they completely change direction next season. And well, I, I guess I'll get into that when I get into it. But anyway, next week, the first, or the final four episodes, the final third of the season... As long as they don't screw it up, this season uh, could go down as, you know, maybe the best since the first, if possible. Um, as good as the fourth, maybe. So, yeah, I really hope they don't screw it up. And I hope I didn't forget anything. I don't think I did. But, anyway, all right, I'll see you guys next week. Sorry about my voice. I always have a problem. These past couple of weeks, I've always had problems with uh, either being sick or my editing, which still isn't there. And now my voice, so apologies all around. But, um, yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Later.